I'm Elliot. I'm from Studio Kimchi and Chips um, from Manchester, UK, and this is my experiment called Swap Places, which is at Sina Art in Dresden. And here we're testing out the possibilities of projecting onto people. This works by scanning the people in front of the camera in 3D. It's a Kinect camera and it scans me in 3D. And right now on me, you can see like this color data. And this is my normals. The normals is the direction in which the surface is facing. If I lean back, I go blue. Blue is this direction. If I go this way, it starts going red because red's this direction. So this color data represents what the Kinect is seeing and you get this projected directly onto you. People themselves become a projection canvas in this very dynamic way where it's self-calibrating and easy to set up and quite uh, flexible it means there's loads of interaction possibilities. I can cast lighting onto myself or I've got an image on me and between me and two other people we create one big image. So this is kind of a, a lab project that gets developed during the festival and taken to the next festival, the next festival to test out um, what happens when you try this technique out, but also to communicate this idea to other media artists and other performers who might be interested in where this field is going. But um, it's great to see like, people have fun with it. Uh, I mean, everyone loves that when, when someone stands in front of your stuff and starts smiling. My name is Markus May. I am a künstler, born in Leipzig. Moritz Arnold and I sind von der Signet Art eingeladen worden, um die Lichtinstallation Experiment using Movement in Light hier in Hellerau zu präsentieren. Es ist eine Lichtinstallation, bei der es, wie der Titel der Arbeit schon beschreibt, um eine experimentelle Auseinandersetzung geht mit dem Raum. Der Betrachter kann sich ähm, aus der Ferne dem Objekt nähern. Er sieht erst nur das Pendel, was seine Kreise zieht und ähm, und die Schattenwirkung im Raum, die eine sehr kontemplative Sogwirkung auf den Betrachter hat. Und wenn er sich der Arbeit nähert, entfaltet sich sozusagen die Dimension der Fläche, des Raums und der Zeit durch die Spiegelung ähm, des Wassers im Boden. My name is Oliver Bauerhen. I am one of the three co-directors of CTM Festival, formerly known as Club Transmediale. But I'm also here as the head of project of the ICAS Networking Tomorrow's Art for an Unknown Future. This project is funded for five years by the European Union. We are nine partners and of course as the question is, what is the unknown future? How can we get into the unknown future? What are the tools for the unknown future? And so we developed a project that is divided in five working periods. And working period one was the big question, festival as a lab, or what is a festival? So now we are at the end of our first working period and Signet Art makes a sort of sum up of what we have realized so far. The output tonight, we will see it live, is chat into life. <laughs> My name is Conrad Schneider. I'm one of the co-founders of um, a little studio for interaction and experience design called Into Light. In the beginning of this year, we applied for a prize for the ICAS Commission uh, Award, which we received um, successfully. The prize was um, 5,000 euros uh, with which we could realize the project in the back. It's a project called Chat Toolkit for Collective Hedonistic Environments, which means we created some kind of a platform with which uh, musicians and uh, VJs can throw together their content for audiovisual environments. We have uh, five interfaces here in this environment. The first one is the FX balloons, um, filtering certain tracks in the live sets. The second one is the mega button, meaning uh, it's, a, it's kind of a button with which you can change the like immediately change the overall environment, make it bright, make it flash. Um, then there is a step sequencer. You can trigger certain sounds that are on the floor. You step on the step sequencer, kind of working with a word play. And uh, then we have um, laser harp. The laser harp um, is nothing, nothing more, nothing less than a harp, um, which is, um, uh, there, there are like five um, lasers laser beams 
and when you put your hand uh, in those beams, you can uh, play certain sounds. And um, what we wanted to do is uh, create some kind of avant-garde projects that uh, have on one side um, a very, very uh, high technological profile and the other side is um, looking into the future of what can be done with this and what might it mean in the future. So uh, culture for me is kind of an indicator for uh, what is happening in society and in some, somehow in, uh, like in a very little way we think we can also um, change little things in society when working with technology and art.